Hey guys, DJ here from the Aztec Press. I'm the assistant a &E editor, and we're going to talk about the iPhone 4S, which just came out today, and I've had the time to mess around with it for a little bit. Uh, to start off, it has the A5 chip, which is faster, at least according to the press conference. Uh, it said that websites would pull up faster, faster graphics, things like that. Um, the websites do pull up faster. The web browsing is it's a little bit better, but it is on a 3G network with Verizon, so it can only go so fast, but YouTube videos still take time to load, I noticed. You still have to sit there with the pause button. Uh, as for the graphics, I did play Infinity Blade, which I guess is the highest archy of uh, graphics capability for the phone right now. It looked actually slightly better than playing on the iPod Touch. Maybe that was the placebo effect because they told me that, but from what I could tell, it looked slightly sharper. Also, there's going to be exclusive games that are only going to be for the 4S, such as Grand Theft Auto 3, so just be aware of that. Um, the camera is 8 megapixels, and the pictures look nice, which at, at the end of this review, I'm going, to have some, I'm going to have a slideshow that's going to have some pictures, and it's going to be both day and night situations. Um, also, for the video, which is 1080p, um, it does look good, but it looks a lot like a flip camera, if you ever use one of those. So it doesn't look as good as a camcorder or as an HD camcorder, but it's getting there. So I think the next generation, we're going to see a real step up, but the resolution's there. You get a nice big picture when you upload it on your computer, you get the full screen. It looks really nice, um, but it still looks like a cell phone camera, if you kind of get what I'm saying. And then, of course, the big deal is Sari, the personal assistant that will fix your life. Um, so a lot of people have been saying you can say you can ask questions to Siri like I love you or do you love me will you marry me things like that very typical things, but if you actually try to be smart about it, it can actually answer some pretty cool questions. Who wrote a doll's house? Okay, here you go. And there he is. Epson. There he is right there. And it's not even a Google search or anything like that. It's actually in the phone. So that's pretty impressive. So you don't have to worry about the death grip anymore because of the two antennas. So that's great. Um, some of the early criticism was that the RAM wasn't that great. 512 megs. Just keep in mind, that's the same capacity as the PlayStation Vita that's coming out pretty soon. And if you've seen that device, no one is really complaining about how it looks or how it operates. Also uses iOS 5 of course, which you can download for the iPhone 4, but it's built in right here, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, one of the things I was really hoping they would improve, I don't know if it's Apple or if it's the carriers or something like that, but your email is still gonna take forever to push. I was really hoping that would, they would fix that. Uh, with my Blackberry, it comes like that. With this, 10, 15 minute delay sometimes. I don't know why. To conclude, Impressive package, but not exactly the iPhone 5. So if you're already an iPhone 4 user, don't buy your contract. Just hold on to what you have. You're going to be okay. If you have never had an iPhone before and you can upgrade, do it now. Uh, so yeah, that concludes my review. And coming up next is iPhone 4S Theater. Enjoy.
Hey, Mommy, made it on the review. How do you feel? What? You made it on the review. Review of what? This is going online. No. Okay. Just captured a real moment there. Ooh.